Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today, today is Thursday. Happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your day is going well. We're almost to that weekend. So that's always a good thing. So today I'm gonna to be doing some baking. This whole week and the last week too, I've been doing kind of a no spend, eat out of my pantry, eat out of my freezer, kind of not a challenge, but I like to do that every once in a while. And so this week I was like, hmm, we don't really have a lot of um, things to just like grab and go, baked goods, that kind of thing. And so I thought, what can I do? So you get very creative when you don't go to the store. You do. <laughs> you have to look up ideas, you have to get recipes, things like that. And so this week I'm like, what can I do for a challenge to myself to do some baking, something different, not something I usually make. And so I went to a lot of times, you guys give me ideas on things. So I save them, I screenshot them and I save them. So I don't always make them right away. But I was like, okay, this is time to pull out my ideas from my viewers. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today from some. Some of them are my own, some are some things that we've made over the years, but some of these are gonna be your ideas. So I'm gonna to get to baking, I'm gonna go put an apron on, and then we're gonna start our day with baking in a large family. You guys ready? All right, let's go get an apron. All right, this recipe I thought, one of my viewers, let me get your name correct, Tamara Kaiser, K-I-Z-E-R, she said, you need to try Cool Whip cookies. And I was like, Cool Whip cookies? What is Cool Whip cookies? Well, I had to Google Cool Whip cookies, and I'm like, oh, those look really, really good. So the ones that I saw had lemon cake mix. I'm not a huge fan of lemon. I will eat it, not my favorite. I went, I went through a time when Lauren was, I was pregnant with Lauren and I got so sick of lemon. It was like a lemon muffin or lemon something. So I can do it, but it's it takes me back to, you know, 20 years ago. <laughs> Oh, it's Lauren, 21 years ago. It takes me back to a long time ago. I was like, hmm, isn't that funny how instances in life can like ruin you for the rest of your life? So I was just really sick on lemon. So I chose to go with strawberry. So I thought strawberry, I had a strawberry cake mix. It's very simple, it's strawberry cake mix or lemon. I've even seen, I looked down there and there was chocolate too. So I thought you could do anything. So I'm gonna do strawberry. You need a thing of Cool Whip. You need one egg and that's half a cup of powdered sugar. And that's what you roll the cookies in and they kind of come out and they break apart and they look really really cool so we're gonna put this in our mixing bowl put this in there and the egg in there and just mix it up really good it's gonna be really simple three ingredient three kind of four-ish ingredient cookies i've got this feeling i'm feeling you could be the one i see no reason why i should ever let you go don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you give. Now the recipe just has you dropping it by teaspoons in here and then rolling it into a ball. So they said sometimes it sticks in your hand, so I'm gonna spray my hands with non-stick sticking spray. Non-stick sticking spray. Non-stick cooking spray, sticking spray, cooking spray <laughs> on my hands first and see how that works. They recommended doing it on parchment paper or some kind of liner for your pans but i'm going to do it i have the double air baking sheets i think if you have to buy cookie sheets don't buy the single layer ever get yourself one set of these like mine are used this is actually cropped and i actually got aldi has the greatest pans ever aldi go to aldi but this is um the double air ones i think walmart sells them too they will last you for your entire existence of life as long as you don't get water in there they don't get rusty Get some of these. These will help your cookies to never burn. So we'll try and see if these cookies never burn. Sometimes they say they stick, so I will see. I'm not gonna spray this. I'll just put them out here. We'll do a couple test cookies. I'll be your guinea pig to see how these uh, work. So I'm just gonna take a tablespoon, I'm gonna take my ring off. Tablespoon and see how this works. I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up without you. Baby, without. I forgot to hit record when I sprayed my hands. I don't think you necessarily have to spray your hands. As long as you just drop that dough in there and cover it with the powdered sugar and roll it up, you're fine. So skip the spray in your hands part. So they said teaspoons, so I did a couple small ones, but <sighs> cookies are my things that make them a little bit bigger, get done faster. So I did a couple of tablespoons. So I'm just gonna do a few since this is the first time I've ever made these. So do a few, see what they look like. 350 oven, let's see how long. So that's about seven minutes. So let's bake these up and see how long, how they turn out. Timer, so I'll be back in two seconds to see how these look. Mm. Those look good. But those look really good. So I'm gonna let them sit. I'm gonna start doing the rest up so I can get those in the oven.
Sometimes I forget to breathe I'm looking in your eyes Wish you could see the things I see All right, my cookies are still baking in the oven, so I'm gonna mix up some of this cake mix. Remember I got this humongous box? I made this a couple weeks ago with our other baking day. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do half of it first and mix it up. We're gonna do Jacqueline recommended making cake pops. And I'm like, I have never made a cake pop. So I thought we would try that today. And then I'm gonna make some cupcakes because I bought this, this Godiva chocolate. And I looked on the back and I'm like, you can make frosting out of this, whipped milk chocolate frosting. So I'm like, interesting. So I have, Cool Whip, you can use whipping cream, I have Cool Whip, and you just melt this and put it in there, make some nice fluffy mousse, which is really interesting. So I thought I would do that on cupcakes. So we're gonna mix up half of this batch first. We'll go from there and see how much we got, how much that uses up, because I really don't know. I think this is four boxes in here from last time. So we'll do two and go from there. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you get. Okay, these want to stick a little bit like on the pan here, but not enough to like be that bad. If you had just the single layer pan for sure, either spray it, but I would use parchment paper to make it lift up a whole lot easier. The first thing I'm gonna do is put some cupcakes in my pans here. I like using the silicone liners. If you can invest in these, they're pretty cheap on Amazon. You can get a bunch and they last you forever. You will never have to buy the paper cups again. I used to always do that and sometimes you could never find them at the store and you spend two, three dollars on a little paper one. It's good for taking places, but if you're at home, just make sure you use these. They're a whole lot easier to use. Got a big box here. We use them for all our muffins and cupcakes. Okay, so since that was like two batches in the pan, the cupcakes, I'm gonna make another like one batch, not the other half, because I'm saving the other like box in there for something different. So I'm gonna mix this one up real quick so I can make like a big giant cake to make our cake balls with. Okay, so I'm gonna put this batter and the rest of the batter that I made for the cupcakes in just a glass nine by 13 pan. You can do any kind, because it's basically gonna be crumbled up. So the thinner, the better, whatever you wanna do. So I'll just put it in here. All right, so we're working on oven. The oven has just got to do its baking. So this is the only time of life. I wish I had another rack in my oven, but I don't like to put two layers when you're baking. I mean, it's okay if you put the, I need to do that. I need to put my convection setting on. I have a convection setting on my oven where it blows evenly. Let me do that and I get my cake in the oven. Let's do that. I forget I have that setting, so baking those in the oven. So that is three boxes of cake mix basically gone. Two to cupcakes, one to the cake. The next thing I'm gonna do is some pancake cake mix. Pancake cake mix, is that what they're called? Pancake, yeah, pancakes out of cake mix. So we're gonna make little pancake parfaits, just something a little bit different and a treat for the kids. So um, this, I'm gonna put one box of cake mix in here and I'm gonna add the rest and I'll show the recipe on the screen. Now I'm out of regular milk, so I'm making powdered milk. You can mix this up really easy and it can be a great replacement in your dishes. You can also mix it up and drink it. Just let it sit in your refrigerator for a day to get really chilled. All right, so we're getting things done, making things. So I'm gonna take this cake mix powder and make it into pancakes. We're just gonna cook them on the griddle here. You can do this with any flavor one, probably like a chocolate one, a strawberry one would be really good for like a special holiday, special like Valentine's Day. That's, has it come and gone yet? It's almost coming down. I'm just thinking the time that I post this video. But we're gonna be doing this. This is a recipe I remember a long time ago. Like a long time ago in one of my cookbooks as a kid doing it and it was like little pancake parfaits. So we're gonna make some. So we're gonna make 
the pancakes here, they're gonna be really um, tender because they're gonna wanna be like cake. They're not gonna stick as well as pancakes do. So just be careful when you're flipping them. So put some oil down. We're just gonna cook these up. So you see that they're a little bit flimsier. So you can make it by just adding less milk. It'll make it a little bit thicker in your dough, but this will be fine. We're just gonna mix this up. I'm gonna keep making these. Let me go over and make my next layer for the parfait. Basically what we're gonna do is take a pancake, put some chocolate pudding on it, a little bit of Cool Whip. I've got some maraschino cherries and some chocolate curls and sprinkles. It's just a fun dessert treat. So I have mixed up my powdered milk in here. That's what I did. You don't have regular, get yourself a big container. I get it at Sam's Club. It's, I'm gonna say, I don't know, it's maybe $15. I don't even know if that's how much it is. Cheap, just get a big bag of it. Keep it in your pantry because milk goes bad, but this will last forever and you can just mix it up as you need it. That's the key. So I'm gonna make some pudding. So I'm gonna make mine right now because I wanna put this in the refrigerator to chill it. The difference between using powdered milk and store milk is store milk. Is that the word store milk? Real cow milk, real milk, I don't know, <laughs> is that it hasn't been chilled. So you can also make it, like make some ice water, you know, strain out your ice that way too. But I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator because we're not gonna eat this right now, but we will be having it later for dessert tonight. It's good, when you're making pantry meals, oh, hold on, I better flip these. So one thing I do miss that I don't have is a big giant griddle. I remember having one of those big griddles and it was so great for large families to make a bunch of stuff. So mine died over the years, of course, and so I haven't gotten one, but now that my waffle iron died too, I'm like, I feel like I need to get that griddle back. So I'm gonna put that on my list. When you think of things like, I think, oh, I need that. Well, I don't go buy it right now. I put it on a list, because guess what? Birthday's coming up, um, you know, maybe Christmas, because I can suffer, suffer with a griddle, but, I make a list for myself because my family's I was like, we're gonna buy you something. So I'm always like, what do I have no idea at Christmas time. So I start making a list throughout the year of things that I would like. And so, cause usually by the time Christmas rolls around, you're like, I don't know, give me a candle. Give me some fluffy socks, um, a new apron. I just, which is all good. But sometimes there's things that you forget about that you could have used. So for myself, things I've been noticing lately is like a mixing bowl with the, what is it? The little pouring thing on it. What do you call that? Basically, it would have this, the spout, a pouring spout, right? But on a mixing bowl, so that when I mix it up, I can just pour it like for pancakes. So that's gonna be on my list, and then a big giant griddle. Not big, but a decent sized griddle because we do make pancakes now all the time. So I'm not gonna be able to make this yet. I just gotta keep flipping. Okay, so I gotta hurry. So I'm gonna basically put chocolate pudding in here with my milk and just gonna whisk it away. It was three cups of cold milk and the chocolate pudding mix and just mix it up. Okay, that's all mixed up. Easy, easy, easy. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for tonight because what we'll do is we'll later things. It'll be a nice treat for the kids. So we're gonna keep making those pancakes thing because they take forever, but we will get there. You probably could just do it in a pan, like in the oven and then cut it, but it'll be cuter with the circles. Those little things, like I said, when you're out of food, not that you're out of food, but when you're eating blah, boring foods, like casseroles and freezer meals, throw something fun in there, like the, the pancake parfait, something easy. So, all right, let's keep doing pancakes. All right, my cupcakes are all out of the oven. I just dropped one ready for frosting. So I'm gonna make my frosting, which is really good is when you use these silicone liners, look, look at the cupcake just, I'm gonna make myself a liar. It falls right out of the wrapper, not this one, of course. Maybe they don't. Well, these ones, look at, they just come right out. So probably if you let it sit, they'll come right out. Didn't even grease them or anything. So these are gonna be ready, but I'm gonna make some chocolate mousse frosting. I wanted to do this with whipping cream, but I used it up in my soup last week, but I do have Cool Whip. Cool Whip's great, you guys, what is Cool Whip? It's whipping cream with chemicals. I know, it's okay. That's what we have. We're gathering fragments in our freezer. I didn't have to go to the store, and it's gonna be a treat. So I have this Godiva chocolate. I bought this at my discount store. I think it was two for a dollar. Pretty sure they were two for a dollar. Awesome, and you know it's gonna be delicious. Oh, and look at, look what the recipe is. 
frosting for a cupcake. That is what I'm gonna make. So their recipe is whipping cream and the chocolate, which you just chop up, and then you, you basically you heat it with the whipping cream. Bring cream to a simmer, stirring frequently. Pour over chocolate in medium bowl, let stand one minute, and then you whisk it until it's melted, put it in the refrigerator, and then you whip it really hard. But I'm going to do the chocolate melted and then um, let it kind of cool just for a little bit, not till it's hard. And then I'm gonna mix it into my Cool Whip and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and then it'll get a little bit chilled and we'll put it on our cupcakes. It will taste so, so good. You know it will. But I have a chocolate. Can you go wrong? Oh, you will not go wrong. It'll be delicious. All right, so this is delicious. It tastes really good. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator just so it stays cool, it gets cool, and then I'll put it on the cupcakes. All right, so my cake came out of the oven over here. So it has gotta cool before I make the cake pop. So we will let that sit. I'll probably move it over here away from the oven, you know, where it's hot so it can cool off quicker and we can make our cake pop. So we're doing a bunch of things at once, but that's okay. The next thing I'm gonna mix up is some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Now we usually make muffins. Those are delicious, love those. We made those the last time, so I thought I need to do something different. So I had a bunch of applesauce. Now we did, remember the Granny Smith ones? Okay, it's a little sour. Some of my kids like it, some do not, because they're tart apples, that's why. It's okay, not a terrible thing, but I was like, mm, they prefer the other applesauce, so I'm like, what am I gonna do with all this applesauce? We're gonna bake with it. So I'm gonna be using it in these cookies. And I have a lot of pumpkin. I have humongous cans that I bought, remember, for $2.99, I think it was, for the humongous cans of pumpkin, ridiculous. But I still have small ones here. So we're gonna mix up some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. There's gonna be no oil in it. It's got less sugar. Usually pumpkin, especially muffins, it, the recipe usually calls for two and a half cups of sugar. I do two cups of sugar. This one only has one cup of sugar. So it's gonna be a little bit healthier, not as super sweet, but still delicious. And then you're gonna do is I got dark chocolate chips. Should be really good. So we're gonna mix this all up in here. I have white flour. I'm using it up. You, it's, you can use wheat flour or white wheat flour, which is great, but I'm gathering up my fragments and using what I have. So I'm gonna use white flour for this. Let's just mix this up in the mixture and then we're gonna bake it like cookies in the oven. Really simple. Oh, and by the way, don't worry. We will sample all these advanced. I'll give you my honest taste test of everything because like Cool Up cookies, I've never had. This particular pumpkin one, I haven't made it in a long time, so it'll be new. And the little pumpkin parfaits, haven't made this since I was a kid. Frosting's new. All this is new stuff. Cake pops, I don't think I've ever made cake pops. I don't think I ever have. So these are all gonna be new things. We'll test them at the end. So let's mix up our cookie batter. I've got my pumpkin batter in the oven making cookies. So I'm gonna take this mousse frosting and put it on my cupcakes. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna you have to keep these in the refrigerator because it has the cool whip. So I have a container like this that I'll put them in the bottom and then the rest I'm sure we'll get eaten real quick. All right, pumpkin cookies are coming out great. They're super soft, so you have to be very, very careful. They are delicious, like a muffin in a cookie. You know, very good. So I'm gonna start mixing up my cake ball mixture. So I have green frosting, because that's what I have. I never use this. So we have this, and I have my cake. So you just crumble your cake as fine as you can, and then you just stir in the frosting to it. 
to make it like a thick batter. And then you're gonna roll into balls on a cookie sheet and we're gonna freeze it or put it in the fridge and it'll probably freeze it so it goes quicker. And then we'll dip it in chocolate. Something new, we'll try it. Thanks, Jacqueline. All right, so I can't honestly say I've ever had a cake pop. I know, call me crazy. I've never, I don't think I've ever had one. I know what they're like, I've seen them before. I just don't think I've ever eaten one because to me frosting and cake mix do not sound good. I don't really care for too much for canned frosting, but it'll be good. So I'm just gonna roll these into little balls, put them in my cookie sheet so I can put them in the freezer. All right, you know how I feel about making balls. This is not my favorite time. <laughs> so I started doing tiny ones and I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna do bigger ones. So that's fine, kids will like them bigger. Would you not want a bigger ball than a small one? I mean, I like eating the smaller ones, but the rolling time, I know it takes a whole like extra minute to do this, but this is gonna be good. So I'm just gonna roll these out and we're gonna put this in the freezer and let it freeze and then we're gonna dip it in our melting chocolate. Okay, so my um, pumpkin cookies are all done. Now I'm gonna melt my melting chocolate there, put it in the microwave, and then we'll dip our cake balls, and that's gonna be it. All right, my cake balls are frozen. I just melted my chocolate. We've got a cup here, so we're hoping this will stretch, because that's I, I do have um, chocolate chips I might dig into if I have to. I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut oil, about this much to it, just to thin it out. All right, so all I'm gonna do is take my cake pop with a fork and dip it in my chocolate, put it on my little rack here, and then put sprinkles on it. Cake pop's done. Put this over here. All right, let's do the... out of chocolate so I could just leave these but I do have some chocolate chips so I'm gonna melt those in here with a little bit of coconut oil so we can keep making these all right so let's be real here when you put a chocolate ball on top of a rack and you go to pull it off, this chocolate sticks to the rack. <laughs> I know, I did this last time and I'm like, why did I do this and I forgot. So if you take like a spatula and do it, you kind of miss a whole lot, but if you lift the tray up and push the chocolate from the bottom, it pops up. Let me show you. Underneath and just push it up. Look at that, oh, gotta make sure you loosen it. Look at, you get most of the chocolate, because if you just go to get it off, with the spatula, it's gonna scrape the whole bottom because I totally should have not done that. Look at that, much better. <laughs> Just a little push.
Listen up. This is real life, people. We like to share the truth of making foods, not just all the good stuff. Ah. All right, so that was probably the messiest thing ever, but true life. I guess if you just put it down like I did these other ones, it just makes the pool on the bottom. This ones are still, that's why I put them over here because my kids went to pull one off and they were sticking to it. And I was like, oh, that's not good. So at least this way is a little more minimal. You just kind of get the lines in it. But anybody else out there do chocolate? Like there's, I know there's experts out there way beyond what I'm doing. And so what's the best way to get the chocolate so it doesn't, like does it just maybe more hit it on the side so all the excess goes off and then just put it down? That could be it. So the top of mine, when I had my fork in the middle, put the sprinkles in there and then it covers up the hole. So, all right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. So let me go through and show you what we made today. All right, first up we had the Cool Whip Kit Peas. So here these are. These smell really good. Now, I've already tried one. I'm not a big fan of strawberry flavored, like this kind, my kids like it, I don't. So I did eat this, they're good, they're nice and chewy. Let me show you. It reminds me of just like a good cookie. It's good. I just don't like strawberry cake. I think that's the key. Mm hmm So, me personally would not make these, but my kids had them and they're like, oh, these are really good. So, lemon cake mix would be really good and maybe the chocolate one, I don't know. I'm just not a, like strawberry cake, I don't love strawberry cake mix. I just don't. So, Madeline will love strawberry cake, so she'll probably love this, but don't go against my, but the texture and everything is really good and my kids do like it. So, I, I dinner. So I would say, not my favorite, but it is my kid's favorite. So, all right, one done. All right, the next one we did was cupcakes with the chocolate mousse frosting. Yeah, my kids had these for after breakfast deliciousness. Yeah, delicious, so I know these are gonna be good. Delicious, let me try, I know it's good. Mm-hmm, mm. mm. You know when you get a cake made at the store and one store is like buttercream and the other one is more like a whipped cream? This is like the whipped cream, so. I like this because I like the whipped cream. Delicious. Oh yeah, very easy. Kids love it. Winner, can't go wrong. So store these ones in your refrigerator. I think the cool if you have to. I think you bake it so that's okay, but these ones you do want to store in the refrigerator because the cool is cold, so. All right, I'm gonna go eat this. Let me go finish this, it's delicious. Next we have the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies with no oil, no eggs delicious i've already had one of these two as well because you know they were that good good they're super soft so very like a like soft baked cookie mm -hmm. mm. really good you don't miss that sugar it's not as sweet obviously as a pumpkin muffin but good like this will soft this for when you need that little bit of a fix now when you go to store these you're going to want to put them if you freeze them Put them in between wax paper sheets because they're soft and they're gonna stick together. So make sure you do that. These are winter. Oh yeah, winter. Mm hmm. Mm, so good. Ooh, I just talked a bit into that chocolate chip. <gasps> That's the dark chocolate. That's really good. It seems like I want one. So all right, yummy winner on the cookie. All right, the other thing we made was the cake pops. This I know is not gonna be my favorite. My kids like it. I will take a bite. I can't say I, can't, I shouldn't say I don't like it because I can't say that they will actually eat it. Macy, don't park. She's like, I want more. Let me try a bite. Mm. Not bad. I just don't love that frosting flavor. So not my favorite, but my kids do like it, so just because I'm saying it's not good, don't say, oh, I won't try that. I just don't, I'm telling you what I don't like about it. The cake frosting flavor, I don't like that. But the texture is good, having the dark chocolate and then the soft cake in the middle. That is, my kids like this. So again, my kids like this. Not my favorite, but they say yes to this. So not bad. My favorite would be the pumpkin cookies, but what do I? I like to eat green leafy stuff. The kids don't always love that. So let's get up the next dessert. All right, this next thing is those pancakes that we made. Pancake 
pudding parfait i'm gonna call this now again these are all sugar treats like they're they're not healthy i'm not making healthy the cook pumpkin cookies would be pretty healthy the rest are treats that's what they are they're desserts they're sweets that's what we're making here so this you take your little pancakes and you're gonna layer pudding on it put it together i got some ready whip topping or you can use cool whip whatever you have I've got maraschino, maraschino, how do you say that? Maraschino, maraschino cherries, sprinkles, and chocolate curls. It's to make a fun, fancy dessert, like out of pancakes. All right, is that not a fun little dessert? Look at that, that's delicious. A dessert, again. Just a, a dessert, something different out of gathering your fragments. So kids are gonna go, oh, that's the greatest thing ever. Not bad, not bad at all. So should I cut a little piece? I should cut a little piece and try it. I mean, pudding and cake mix, can you go wrong? Oh, I, I hate to ruin it here. I need to get a thumbnail first. Let me do my thumbnail and I'll try it. All right, I'm the worst at getting the thumbnail, so I had to get the thumbnail. <laughs> to remember because I'm always like when I edit I try to go get a screenshot of it always impossible so I'm gonna eat the part with the cherry oh my goodness this is gonna be so good oh yeah cut down I'm gonna eat this here live on camera look at that delicious mm-hmm now that is good that is really good because it's like that dessert you can even put bananas on if you had bananas i don't have bananas so right now in our pantry this is what we came up out of the pantries but sliced bananas on here sliced strawberries Ooh, that'd be really good too all right this is delicious i feel like i can eat more all right so that is all my baking treats for the day thank you guys for your inspiration for making these i like to make something different it's always going to make something different once in a while and then you're like hmm because we get in the routine of making the same ones because they like them I don't want to waste the money on something different. But my kids are getting older where they will branch out a little bit more like the strawberry cookies. I probably would have never made those ever because I was like, do they love them? But it's just something different and they're older to go, okay, I do like these. So ah, delicious. So what a great day doing some baking. So I thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I'm going to see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. For those of you that want to stay, I'm going to read our book of Psalms. All right, Psalm 29, the voice of the Lord in the storm. Ascribe to the Lord, O sons of the mighty. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty and majesty of his holiness as the creator and source of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian, which is Mount Hermon, like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord rakes flames of fire, lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the doe labor and give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, all are saying glory. The Lord sat as king at the flood. Yes, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give unyielding and impenetrable strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. That's a great psalm. That's a great psalm. He is going to bless you with peace. Do you want that? I know I want that. We need some peace in our lives. So take the words of the Lord and what he says as true. Have a blessed day.